Hey everyone, let's try this again. Internet connection wasn't working. Um, so just give everyone a minute to um, hop on here. So got that, finally got that internet connection working. So today we're gonna to be going over Ylang Ylang. So everyone out there, give me some love. So if you have any questions about essential oils, please post them below. And if you don't catch this live feed, I'll answer them next week. So give me some love and if you like the video, share it with your friends. Okay, so we're gonna be over Ylang Ylang. This is an oil of um, your inner child. So some different wet, just a little bit about Yilang Yilang. It comes from a star um, flower and from the tropical um, Yilang Yilang tree. It's just, abs the smell is just absolutely incredible. I can't stop smelling it all the time. So it's very calming and it's very peaceful. So some different ways that I like to use Yilang Yilang is great for cardiovascular to help support that. It's also a hormonal oil, so it will help balance out your hormones. So how do you use it for those elements? And then remember, we're just supporting. So for a, a couple ways that I like to use it is just simply put a couple drops in the palm of my hand and with some fractionated coconut oil, rub my hands together and rub it onto my belly and also to my lower back as well. Great in the diffuser. Some of the oils that it's good to diffuse this with is vetiver, which is a, our heaviest oil. It's very thick, um, which is a wood oil. Vetiver and geranium, which is also a hormonal oil and um, is one of the other oils you want to use with this is bergamot, which is also a hormonal oil. So one thing that I like to do too, if you want like a conditioner for your hair, is take a carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil or, um, or any other oil, as far as like olive oil or grapeseed oil, and just put a few drops of the Ylang Ylang in there and massage it into your hair. And it will help, it's a deep conditioner and will help really support shiny and thickening um, and luxuriates hair, so, which is absolutely incredible if you want to, you know, we put our hair through so much, so if you want to really support um, and condition your hair, this is a great way to do it. So another great way is to get away from all those, you know, yin and yin is actually a great one to use a natural perfume. So what I like to do is just put it on my pulse points and rub it together. And you can also get things like I'm wearing today. Um, this is a lava a rock stone. So you can just simply just put a drop on there and rub it in. And you can also get like bracelets too. And if you want help on get, getting those, just contact me. And you just, there's lava rocks in here, and you just literally put it on so you'll have more of a natural perfume that you can wear. So do you have any questions out there? So when you take this internally, um, it will support, um, gives you great antioxidant support. So you just put um, either a couple drops in capsules, or you can put it in your water. Um, so that's a great way. Now, the taste is, is a little different, so I like to put it in capsules and just take it like I would, like a supplement. So it's absolutely great to do that as well, to, especially if you're gonna support that antioxidants, cardiovascular, and um, you know, just to balance out emotions and hormones and what have you. So, um, so, if you've had a very stressful day and you just want to relax and do I have any bath takers out there? This is great to get some Epsom salt. And you just, what I like to do is just take a jar and put, throw some Epsom salt in there and then put like a tablespoon or two tablespoons in there so you have the carrier oil in the Epsom salt. And then just put, um, you know, I make a big container. So I put about 15, 20 drops of the Ylang Ylang. You can throw some other oils in there too, but this is great for relaxing. So if you've had a stressful day with kid, with your kids, running here, running there, work, stressing you out, uh, one thing after another, just simply get that Epsom salt out with the Ylang Ylang and throw it into the bathtub and just relax and 
just let a lot of your troubles go away. So that's another great way that I love to use Ylang Ylang. And I really like, you know, if someone comes into my office and they've had a stressful day, and I know that they've had a stressful day before they even get on the table, then I also like to use the Ylang Ylang throughout the massage just to really add that little extra touch and really relax. And it's gonna also smooth um, out the muscles and relieve the tension as well. So absolutely fabulous to add during a massage for those massage therapists out there. Or, you know, just massage your spouse or your kids. Um, you know, just get some fractionated coconut oil. Um, like, I, like, I'm a firm believer, you do not have to be a massage therapist to, you know, receive the benefit from these oils and massage each other. I mean, it brings the family closer together. The oils are just absolutely incredible. And you get some one-on-one -on -one time with your kids, and kids absolutely love it. Um, and if you're ever in doubt what to do, you know, get the bottom of their feet. You know, put a couple drops on the palm of your hand and with some fractionated coconut oil, you can use lotion too. Um, and massage their little feet. They absolutely love it. And, you know, once we've had a hard day at work, you know, get your husband or your significant other and um, or vice versa and just massage each other's feet. Rub it into the back of their neck. I mean, it's amazing. Just, you know, get these oils out and, and use them. Um, and if you don't have any, then, you know, I'll, I'll help you with that. Um, but aromatherapists really like to use the Ylang Ylang just to release the stress and tension that I mean life gets crazy so just you know use the oils to really help just relieve that tension so um, any questions uh, if not you know give me some love and um, if you think of any questions throughout the week just come back to this video and post it and I'll be answering it next week so again, you know, if you have oils and you don't know how to use them, um, comment on that too. I'll do some quick tip. I'll hop on here and do some quick tips on how to use certain oils uh, so you know how to use them. You know, I don't want people to have essential oils and, you know, a lot of people will, you know, they'll get essential oils from someone and, and you don't have to be on my team. I, I want everyone to know how to use these wonderful oils. So, but before I go, I just want to go over some of the other um, blends that Ylang Ylang is actually in. It's in our woman's um, monthly blend, which is absolutely incredible to really balance all and that um, hormonal balance during that time of month. You know, some of us get crazy um, and some of the symptoms that we deal with during that time of month. So it really helps support that time of month. So the Focus Blend, it's uh, Yilang Yilang is also in that, which really helps us focus. So if you ever in doubt how to use that, just roll it on the back of your neck. It comes in a roller ball and the, you know, behind the ear and then the pulse points again. And then like the necklaces as well. I mean, you just roll it on that. Um, the calming blend is in our calming blend. So another great blend to really, uh, if you have a stressful day, just throw that on there. Uh, it's also in what I like to use, as, as the blend that I really like to use as a perfume um, is our woman's blend. And you, again, simply put it on the pulse points and around your neck and behind your ear. So, um, and I, I don't, and the Joyful Blend is also another fabulous. So it's our Elevation Blend. So it's very uplifting. So if you've had a stressful day, the Joyful Blend is a fabulous oil to throw in the diffuser. You know, just put a couple drops in the diffuser and just really just take the stress away throughout the day. You know, when you go home, if, if you're one of those people that, you know, just want to turn on the TV, you know, throw on the diffuser, get cooking in the kitchen and just relaxing. So um, another great way to use these oils. So those are the, um, blends that the Yilang Yilang is actually in as well. So again, give me some love and I will see you next weekend. If you want to hear about a certain oil, just some basic tips uh, on how to use that oil, just post it and I'll be back next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.